Hi! In previous videos, we looked at the use of VLOOKUP, when to use it, and specifically when to use the true and false parameters. Unfortunately, there's also trouble in paradise. The VLOOKUP function isn't always perfect. And in this video, I'm going to show you two reasons when you're not going to want to use the VLOOKUP. So, if we're in a little hardware shop where we're only selling seven different items, Using a VLOOKUP is definitely fine, there's no problem at all. But suppose we're running a huge hardware store with like 6,000 different items. Then our nice little VLOOKUP function that you see here, if I drag it down now, will take a long time. You see, calculating one Mississippi, yep, there it is. It's pretty slow. And it would be okay if it would only be slow if I'm calculating the VLOOKUP function, but the spreadsheet will now remain slow because the VLOOKUPs will be calculated all the time. For instance, probably you've noticed my typo here. I'm not selling a clam hammer, I'm selling a claw hammer. So if I'm changing that small typo, again, everything has to be recalculated. So using a lot, like 6,000 VLOOKUPs in the spreadsheet, is going to make my spreadsheet slow for every operation that I have. So the first reason VLOOKUPs can be cumbersome is they're pretty slow for large data sets. The second reason, suppose your boss comes into your office and she says, hey, I want to offer a discount today on claw hammers and rip saws, and you need to give me the associated codes because I need to put those codes into the register system for the discounts. And you're like, oh, I know how to do that. I've been following this super cool online Excel course. I can do it. I'll just put in the names. Ah, that's easy, the claw hammer and the rip saw, I will type them up, no problem, and I'll just use a VLOOKUP to look up the codes that go with a name. VLOOKUP, I know how to do it, look up the name, go to the information sheet, oh, what, what column do I send back? Minus one, I want to have a value that's back in the stream. Unfortunately, there's no such thing as a minus one column in a VLOOKUP. The only way you can use a VLOOKUP is this way, from the first column and retrieve something that's in a later column. There's no way that you can go back in the stream with a VLOOKUP function. It only works one way. So these are two reasons that VLOOKUP functions aren't perfect. If you want to have speed, or if you want to have a two-way street, you want to look up in both directions, then unfortunately a VLOOKUP function is not the right function. There's also good news, in the next video I will show you what functions to use as an alternative if you're in one of those two scenarios. See you there!